had an ingenious plan of promotion by making a long form video, as it's called, of the album, mm -hmm. which is called Heartbeat City. Mm -hmm. And you had various video producers and directors try their luck with you. Now, this is quite different from someone like, say, Duran Duran, who used Russell Mackay for their entire long form video. Whose decision was it to go for individuals on certain tracks? Well, we just decided that, um, you know, the best way to get a video that might not look like all the others is to use uh, directors that hadn't made them before. And uh, so, you know, we went looking for people like that and uh, ended up using, you know, Andy Warhol for one and this uh, director named Jeff Stein for the You Might Think video. And Timothy Hutton, the actor, did one for Drive and uh, various other people, but uh, it just seemed, you know, logical that if you wanted to get something that didn't look like something else, maybe we should give shots to people who hadn't made them before so that it wouldn't be in that stock sort of video look. Well, in retrospect, it was a sensationally mm -hmm. successful decision. Mm -hmm. So if we may talk for a moment mm -hmm. just about some of these clips, mm -hmm. you might think, which won the first prize in both the MTV and the San Tropez competitions, mm -hmm. uh, is one which is enormously ingenious mm -hmm. in terms of special effects. Mm -hmm. But did this require a long time participation by the actual band? Yeah, it was, because we, we shot that video for a week. You know, it took a week of shooting. And it took two weeks of editing. So it was actually a whole three week project, which is long for a three minute song. It's like a week per minute. <laughs> so, uh, but everybody got so excited about it as we started to make it that it just kept going on and on. And we just, uh, the company that did special effects, Charlex in New York, uh, they had never done that before. And they just got real involved in their own equipment, really. And, and uh, so, you know, therefore it came out very special. case of Drive, a video which you mentioned was directed by the actor, Timothy Hutton, mm -hmm. there is a woman who gives a superior performance of someone who is very emotionally disturbed. How did you find this unknown face? Uh, I think it was a friend of Tim's. Um, I'm sure Rick knows more about that aspect than I, I do, but uh, it was a friend, uh, as far as I know, it was a friend of Tim's, and he uh, just worked mainly with the three of us for hours told us what he'd like uh, to have us do and the way we should you know we, we should feel the general concept of the song to him well rick th this was an extraordinary performance wasn't it mm -hmm. by this girl well there was you know they screen tested about 10 girls or something and it was just you know it was easy to make this decision her name is paulina poroskova she's a czechoslovakian girl and uh, she just like fell right into the part. It's like she was born to do it or something. Uh, and uh, so, you know, it wasn't hard for Tim to, to get that emotion out of her. And, and uh, we did just labor over the, the characters of it for, for days. And unlike any other video, Tim was insistent that we, you know, were the people that we should be in that video. And uh, after a few days of, of lecturing, you know, we all were like, complete mental cases, you know, uh, feeling like we were those people. And that was really the, you know, the real bedroom, the real set. And it was, so it was actually the, the first experience in, in some real acting, you know. One example of the mix of opportunities is Andy Warhol's presence as well as mm -hmm. uh, his directorial credit on the Hello Again mm -hmm. video. Whose stroke was it to ask him to participate? Well, I, I called Andy because I've known him for a while and, and asked him if he would do a video and and uh, actually wanted to do it with a lot of 8mm because that was like his format in the 60s and uh, he has a TV show in New York too and uh, they did a lot of funny things with 8mm on the, you know, that. So he just sort of jumped right in and said, yeah, I'll do it. And uh, then the second question was, well, will you be in it? 
And he said, oh, definitely. I'll be in it. I'll, I'll just be, I'll just be a bartender, you know. And uh, he stood there behind that bar for like about four or five hours in that one position, like just staring out, you know, into uh, the bar and watching everything that was going on, you know. Never moved. He was like, thoroughly enjoyed doing that. You might forgot. The other single you had from that in the States, Magic, mm -hmm. had as a director an Englishman, mm -hmm. Tim Pope. Right. This is your Walking on Water sequence. Yeah, right. Uh, I assume, can I guess, can I ask you to give it away if there was some kind of transparent table on which you were standing in the swimming Oh, yeah, it's easy to see, actually. You can see it in the last scene. <laughs> and we left it in as well, the fact that you could see it, you know, just uh, <laughs> for whatever reasons, you know. But, uh, yeah, that was about it. I was standing on, like, this uh, plexiglass, you know, sort of, uh, you know, uh, platform, and, which actually kept falling down all the time. And uh, none of the times I was on it, but many of the times the crew was on it, you know. And, uh, and so it was a little slippery, and it was very small, so I was, like, uh, trying to keep one eye on the platform and <laughs> one eye on everything else. But I like Tim Pope's work a lot, you know, and uh, and it was, I, I quite like that video. Oh, 